Emergency is one of the longest serving medical organization in Afghanistan. They have been on the ground for more than two decades, all over the country. Every year they treat nearly 12,000 Afghan citizens and most of them with war injuries. They enjoy respect from every side, the Taliban included. Whoever comes inside the emergency facility doesn't come, come uh, with a label on his forehead. So we are treating the human being, we are respecting the Afghan constitution, the Afghan law, we recognize that we are guests in this country. Their hospital, which is an oasis of peace and green, is located only 400 meters from the epicenter of the massive explosion which killed more than 100 people. And it is here that people seek to shelter after the explosion. More than 100 people reached the hospital in all sorts of condition. If I remember well, it was a Wednesday morning around 8.20. I was sitting exactly in this place where I'm uh, sitting right now. And I was starting just my normal work day doing my daily routine when the explosion occurred. It's heavily damaged and the explosion was so strong that shrapnel, even after traveling for 400 meters, still had enough power to damage the walls. Luckily, no one was injured. The staff found a hundred shrapnel both around the hospital and inside the patients' bodies. And at a time when European countries define Afghanistan a safe nation and requested the Afghan refugees to go back, war injuries on the ground speak another truth. The number of patients keeps increasing. and emergency itself is well aware of this situation and probably the time of choice has come. The emergency hospital is located within the heart of the city of Kabul and it is only 400 meters from the place where a bomb, a massive bomb, rocked the Afghan capital city. More than 120 people ran here to find assistance, to get treated. Doctors worked for more than 12 hours in a row to help them. But unfortunately, right now, due to the plummeting of the security situations, probably the director would need to take a call and to stop the operations of this very helpful hospital in the city. Emergency as an organization every year heal more than 12 thousand people all over Afghanistan and all of these are war injuries, meaning that war has never been truly over in Afghanistan. Daniele Pagani from Kabul for Vion. All right, Daniele, we saw that report, the uh, mood there on the ground, certainly one of a trepidation, a concern with all the uh, security breaches. There are so many incidences in Kabul recently. In fact, even an Indian resident's envoy was bombed. Uh, we see blasts near the U.S. Embassy. There's certainly a lot of attacks happening there on the ground. Uh, what is the mood like there with regards to that hospital, something that people would thought would be a uh, safe haven? You wouldn't think a hospital uh, would shut down, but unfortunately, uh, that seems to be the harsh reality. Yes, exactly. This is very much like what you said. So basically, just to give a sort of a picture of what is going on right now, since a few days, Kabul has been very peaceful, nothing happened. But the atmosphere of uh, fear is palpable. Uh, many, for instance, belonging to the uh, community of international workers are uh, inside their compounds and they are restricting their movements. When I roam around the city, I never meet any a non-Afghan person. I'm the only one roaming around the city right now. And these uh, talks out, this speaks out loud about the security situation. The United Nations, all the big NGOs have restricted their um, workers. They are demanded not to leave the controlled premises. So this is what the situation looks like on the ground. But this is not only for international um, people on the ground, also for Afghans. People feel like insecure. Just if I may, sometimes when I drive, when uh, there is a, a big water tanker in front of the car where we are, uh, the driver, the person who drives with me, it's scared. He stops. He's, he either changes the way. So this is the mindset that uh, is uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, gripping Kabul right now. And it's undeniably true that the security alert is very high and the police are, is everywhere in the city. The army is deployed. There are checkpoints everywhere. We are heavily controlled many times uh, during the day. Um, and and this, is, this is what it is. And unfortunately, the emergency hospital, even if they clearly do not want to abandon Afghanistan, 
Afghanistan, and they have been in the country for more than two decades in very difficult places like the Helmand province in the south, the Logur provinces. They have to take a call. They need to protect their staff, but losing such organization means ultimately on the ground to lose free health care for everyone.